Welcome back. We are glad you are still with us here on Citizen Weekend. Now, three families are seeking answers on their missing kin who disappeared on diverse dates and in separate incidents, all bearing the same hallmarks. The three are said to have been last seen while under arrest, only that the alleged officers arresting them never introduced themselves as police officers, raising concerns about a resurgence in extrajudicial executions. Hassan Mugambi has the details. Yes. At the Haki Africa Nairobi offices, desperate family members who have lost their loved ones under mysterious circumstances continue to cry for help. Each member with a photo of their loved one held high. The same like this. Martin Mungai's mother, Mary Wanjiko, recalls that her son, who lives in Roisambo area of Nairobi, left his house on the 30th of June this year, heading to Ruiru for a business meeting. He didn't reach the destination, and now we are not getting him, so we got worried. So that is how he disappeared. And since now, we have never heard from him. Nobody has ever told us that this, the phone was switched off at a certain place, just the way I reported, I have no idea what. I have no even a word that he was seen here last. Wanjiku reported the matter at the Kasarani police station, in addition to traversing the county hospitals and mortuaries in search for Mungai to no avail. <laughs> <laughs> On the 14th of July, James Mude, husband to a Nairobi politician, went missing on his way from work at 8 p.m. Two vehicles blocked his car as he headed home. He was bundled into one of the vehicles and driven away. Detectives in Juja police station are handling the matter, the family saying, at a snail's pace. <laughs> Lispa Murugi's husband, Vincent Owar, an IT expert, was picked up from his office in Nairobi Tuesday this week by unknown people who identified themselves as police officers but never displayed any identification. Went to Kilimani police station where we, were, we moved from different places, from different police station to another looking for him. They sent us to Central and Muthaiga. And the following day I went with the sister also to other places, to other police stations, until we went to Vigilant House where they told us to go to anti terror which didn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. The sister calling on whoever could be holding a war to release him as his young family is in pain. You might be a mother, a son. If at all you can feel the pain we are feeling, just return Vincent to us. Whatever it is that he may have done, we can solve it amicably. Haki Africa calling on the new administration to put an end to mysterious disappearances. It's unfortunate that even in Rivayala, uh, bodies are still being collected from the river. As recently as, uh, you know, this month, there were some bodies, uh, three bodies that were discovered at Rivayala, and uh, we are still trying to identify who those people are. So we are calling on the authorities, particularly the authorities who are coming in under the, the new establishment, under the new regime, to kindly address this issue of enforced disappearances as a matter of urgency. As the families continue to count every passing second of agony and with uncertainty over the whereabouts of their loved ones, theirs is a passionate call to authorities to locate them as they keep hopes high of finding them alive. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV. The Gazette